He couldn't believe how quickly the light disappeared. From the glade proper, the forest didn't look that big, maybe a couple of acres. Yet the trees were tall with sturdy trunks. Packed tightly together, the canopy up above thick with leaves. The air around him had a greenish muted hue, as if only several minutes of twilight covered only slightly since Thomas had seen him in the homestead. He wore nothing but shorts. His whiter-than-white skin stretched across his bones like a sheet wrapped tightly around a bundle of sticks. Rope-like veins ran along his body, pulsing in green, but less pronounced than the day before. His bloodshot eyes fell upon Thomas as if he were seeing his next meal. Ben crouched, ready to spring for another attack. At some point a knife had made an appearance, gripped in his right hand. Thomas was filled with a queasy fear, disbelief, that this was happening at all. Then, Thomas looked toward the voice. Surprised to see Alby standing at the edge of the graveyard, a mere phantom in the fading light. Relief flooded Thomas's body, Alby held a large bow, an arrow cocked for the kill. Pointed straight at Ben. Ben, Alby repeated. Stop right now, or you ain't gonna see tomorrow. Thomas looked back at Ben, who stared viciously at Albie.